Hey friends, what is up you guys? I'm so excited to hang out with you guys today. We are in my office area at the front of the house. Um, I'm opening up some PR boxes. I just got the most amazing package and I wanna share it with you guys. Today is gonna be a very chill day. I really need to clean the house. There's just so many things around the house that are out of place and it's driving me nuts. I need to figure out the clothing situation um, to donate. I'm also wearing the most comfortable outfit ever. I just wanted to show you guys. I got these Nike shorts, I think from like, I don't even know, Marshalls or like Ross or something. And then I'm just wearing this fitted tank that feels amazing. It's from that brand, Ebby. Um, I feel like I'm absolutely wearing nothing. But let me show you guys the package that I got today. It was uh, such a surprise. So this morning, our place just launched um, a new collection with Selena Gomez, which I thought is so cool. If you guys don't know, I think Selena has a, um, a cooking show on HBO Max. I, I've never watched it before, but I, I am aware that she has one. I should probably check it out. That sounds like something super fun to watch. But they collaborated on a pan, which is, this is the Always Pan, and then the Perfect Pot. And I literally was on the website this morning debating which one I should buy because I thought the colors were so pretty. This is the rose one, and then they have this like royal blue color. And then I went to check my front door, and our place actually sent one over to me, so I'm so thankful for them. This is in incredibly kind and so generous and I love this color. I actually was gravitating towards this. I even did like a poll on Instagram to see which one I should get and a lot of you guys told me to get the rose color. So I think we were like all thinking the same thing today. But this is the always pan, I love it. Actually this was like my first pan that I ever invested in when I moved into my house. I had always like just bought random ones or actually I didn't even buy a lot of pots and pans. I would just use whatever my mom gave me. Um, and then when I moved to the house I was like okay it's time to invest in pots and pans. So this was like my first one and then they sent over um, the same collection, but they also made it into the little glasses. I love their little, um, their little glassware. It's so cute. And then they also sent so many things. I did a little Costco run, so we just have like a watermelon and then random like toilet paper hanging. But um, they also sent over uh, knives. So I guess Selena also created knives with them in the same color. I actually already have the three different knives they have on their website in my collection. I have it in the charcoal color and I think I have it in like another gray color. So I'm actually gonna give these three knives to my mom because these are such good quality. They are so sharp. So the first one here is like a mini little one which you can use to like cut little things. And then, um, they actually have a bread knife, which is like my favorite thing ever. I didn't even know that these were incredible and that they existed until probably a few months ago because every time I cut bread, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really should get a bread knife. And I finally bought one during Christmas and I do not cut bread with anything else. And then they also have, I think this is actually the bread knife and then this is like their everyday knife. But I'm gonna give these three to my mom. My mom actually also has like, the pots and pans from them because I just have so much that I just love sharing with her because she just loves cooking. I don't think you guys can tell because I barely can tell, but allegedly from the scale, I lost five pounds. <laughs> and I'm wearing black, so it's kind of like hard to see, but I guess you can see from the shape of my body. Um, also like from the side here, I do want to work on my arms. I think my arms are like so big and I'm so self-conscious about them. So if you guys have like arm workouts to like shrink the arm area, I feel like um, whenever I gain weight, my fat goes to my stomach, it goes to my thighs, and it goes to my arms. And I wanna figure out a way to like decrease my arm size because I'm very self-conscious about them. I don't wear things that like show my arms, but as I get older, I'm kind of just like, oh, fuck it, whatever, as long as it makes me happy. So today I'm rocking this outfit. But if we leave the house today, you probably will see me put like a, a, a sweater over or something. But I wanted to um, put a little bit of moisturizer and foundation on actually because I'm feeling like, I'm feeling a little flat, you know. Also, I need to wash my hair today. This is a blowout that I had a few days ago. And I've been loving this hair, you guys. Um, I cut it short so it, it lays like right above my boobs and I love it whenever I do like the blowout like I did for Carlos's birthday I think last weekend or was it like two weekends ago it was so pretty but I'm gonna I'm so dry right now so I want to moisturize and I can like 
feel my lips being dry. But yeah, I really need to clean the house today. There's just like so many things around the place. It's like whenever the house looks crazy, I feel like a failure in life. Like I feel like I can't function. I feel like I can't get my work done. I sleep in because I don't know if you guys are the same, um, but like when my life is like, I know when my life is like not in order and that I'm going through something because I will not get out of bed. And that is such a privileged thing to say because obviously I, you know, work from home and like Kim, people need to get up and go to work and people have to be up by like five or six or seven and they have kids and they have businesses and they need to pay the bills. Um, but being self-employed, I have the flexibility to like sleep in and I know when I'm like in a very bad place because I don't get out of bed. Like usually I'm out of bed by like nine or 10, the latest, you you know? So when I'm like staying up late and I can't sleep and then I'm sleeping in until like two or three, I know I'm going through something. And whenever I, I go through that, I'm trying to like be more connected with myself and figure out what it is. And I think a lot of it is just like being in a like, the surrounding, the things surrounding me are just like too out of place and too messy. And I feel like that's what's been going on. Um, I also just have this tendency to like overthink things and like worry about things that aren't even happening. And I don't know if you guys like can relate. Um, I'm just like that person who like, I worry too much about finances. Like even though my finances are on track, like I have such an amazing team and we have savings and we have investments and we have retirements and we have life insurance. Like every, like I am very financially responsible and financially aware. Um, and although Carlos and I are in a really good place financially, I just don't know why I naturally worry about finances. And like, I remember when I was talking to my therapist um, who I've been going to since like, I don't even know, like 2018. But when I was talking to her, I realized that a lot of the reason why I feel the way I feel and like do the things I do is because of my childhood. I always feel like, oh my God, like what if we run out of money? Or like, what if something happens? Like, what if like, God forbid you get in a car accident? Or like, do you, do you guys see how insane my mind works? Like, I think one of my biggest worries that I tend to worry a lot about is honestly just finances. Like, I, you know, like some people go through, like a lot of people go through different things, right? Like we all go through different things in life. A lot of people, like we worry about our image. A lot of people worry about bills. A lot of people worry about their kids, their future. Um, and some people like me worry about finances. And it's just so crazy. So I have to like take a step back. And I think a lot of it is like when, a, like for example, as a YouTuber, when a video doesn't do as well as the others, I automatically think that, oh my God, like my career is fucking over. And it's just so crazy that like, I am aware of it, but my mind like, doesn't do anything about it. Like, I I don't even know how to explain it. You guys know what I'm saying? So, I've been like trying to teach myself how to deal with it and like try to meditate and just try to be in a better place because I feel like I have this like, if you guys like believe in like the whole like chakra thing, I just feel like I have this like burden on me or this hold, like I feel like it's really tight and that I can like release a lot of stress. So I think a lot of my weight loss has to do with, um, honestly, don't look at my armpits, a lot of just like, I don't know. I, th I think it's just, I'm just rambling. I think it also has to do with being self-employed. When you own a business, um, like we own an LLC, obviously. Um, when you own a business and then for us, we're in the process of starting a new business. It's just a lot of pressure. Um, and I wake up every day telling myself, I'm so grateful I get to work today. Because there are so many people out there that like right now don't have work or they're living paycheck to paycheck. And I am I look at my situation and I just pray every day and I'm so grateful that my problems all of a sudden just don't seem like big problems anymore. And I wanna make myself aware of that. Like it is important to be aware of all the blessings around you rather than looking at, you know, the what is it? Rather than looking at the glass half empty, right? It's like half full instead of half empty. So I'm just going through a lot and I, I'm like, oh, is it cause like I'm almost 30? Like I'm turning 29 this October and 
I'm really hard on myself as I'm sorry like my dogs are hanging out and playing but I'm also really hard on myself like even if people say oh my god you've accomplished a lot and like I know I've accomplished a lot in my career and at the same time I finished college like I got a degree and like we bought this house and like all of these are such amazing accomplishments but I'm so hard on myself that I always think I can be better and I don't take a moment to be like oh like Good job, Kim. Like, you did that thing. Like, every time I accomplish something, I'm I'm always like, okay, so that's done. Like, let's do something more. Like, let's do something else. So, I feel like I definitely could give myself a little bit more love as well. How did we get here? Oh my gosh, I don't even know how we got here. Maybe you guys are going through the same thing. Please feel free to leave comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are going through. Because sometimes I feel like I'm fucking alone. And I vlog, obviously. So I'm, like, talking to you guys. So, like, so many of you are like, oh, my God, thank God, like, she's going through it, too. But for me, it's like I only have a few friends and, like, obviously my husband. Which I choose to. As you get older, you realize that having a lot of friends is not everything. We have such a solid group of friends. And I'm so grateful for them. Um... But, I mean, it's 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 so good to hear from other people and, like, what they're going through. Um, but, yeah, man. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about that is uh, pretty sad news. Well, I guess it's sad, but it's not sad. It's sad, but not sad. It's, like, really weird. Okay, so the sad news is the merch website is completely over. Um, but the good news is... There is a 70% off discount sale going on for the entire website today as you guys are watching this today at 12 o'clock noon. So today as you're watching this should be Friday, May 13th at 12 o'clock noon on shopkimtai.com. I'll link it down below. The whole website will be 70% off you guys, 70% off. And the reason that everything on the entire website will go on sale, like for example, the Mental Health Matters crew neck is $50 originally. It's going on sale for $15, you guys, $15. There's going to be so many things going on sale. Um, and the reason for that is because, well, I had no idea this was coming. This was a surprise to me. Um, if you guys didn't know, Carlos and I don't really take care of the production or the inventory or the customer service part of the merch. So we basically partnered up with a manufacturer company in Santa Ana and they print and embroider um, like crew necks and they source different items. So like if you go to them and you say, I want a crew neck, I want a t-shirt, I want a long sleeve, I want matching sweatpants, they're able to go out there to different parts of the world and source them. And sourcing means that they'll basically find those items for you and then you tell them exactly what design you want. So that basically was my job for the last two years with shopkimtai.com with all the launches that we did. I absolutely designed everything from the first launch with Bon Appetit's, Akichi Cheese, and the 3D print of High Friends to Mental Health Matters to the creamer to stop commenting on people's bodies. I designed every single one of those items and that was my favorite thing to do and I was so grateful that I was giving this opportunity to do it. But other than designing it, the team did absolutely everything out. They sourced the item, they printed it, they embroidered it, they did customer service, they shipped it to you guys, they did the website, they literally did everything else. The only thing I did was I obviously approved the samples and I designed everything. So, um, I was so grateful for the experience because it gave me experience to design everything. But when it came to like the business side of it, obviously they had every right to take majority of the profit. And I think I walked away with not that much at all. But to me, it wasn't about the money. I, I've always had this... Uh, this passion for designing uh, crewnecks and loungewear since I was in high school. Um, if you guys remember me talking about it, in high school, I entered a t-shirt uh, a t-shirt contest and I actually won. And then I created a few t-shirts uh, for like the track team. And then I think there was like a tsunami at the time in Japan. So I designed some t-shirts and then my teachers helped me wholesale print them. And we sold them for like $20 and $10 of it went to the uh, victims that were, you know, involved in the tsunami in Japan. So me designing like t-shirts and like all that went all the way back in high school, which high school was like 10 years ago for me. Um, so 
in a way, I didn't see this coming, but in a way, it was such a blessing in disguise because Carlos and I are actually starting a new business. Um, it's going to be our little baby, a little small business of ours that we're going to do all by ourselves. And we're going to do out of our house so for a while we'll be shipping everything and we're really excited but so scared and nervous and we're going to create really comfortable loungewear for you guys i wanted to um surround the business and i'll talk more about this in like a future video but i wanted to surround the business around loungewear because you guys know we're such homebodies like i'm always at home i really really enjoy being at home and you always see me in crew necks and so i wanted to make these crew necks that also are empowering that you're proud to wear and I also want to demand more attention and love for mental health. So that is what we're working on. So in a way, it was a blessing in disguise because for a while, Carlos and I were trying to figure out how the hell am I going to have a merch uh, line with Shop Kim Tai, but then also, you know, diverge out into a second business that also is loungewear. So it was kind of like a conflict of interest here. It was like kind of butting heads. So in a way, it was a blessing in disguise that the merch team decided, hey, we aren't going to do merch anymore. We're just going to go back to our original. Um, and I had no idea it was coming. A few of my friends in the YouTube industry also make merch with them. So they all like found other uh, places to make their merch now. Like I know one of my friends, she's going to Fanjoy, which is like a huge merch company. They make a lot of merch for uh, content creators. But basically, that's the story behind it. Shop Kim Tai will no longer exist after Monday, I believe. The sale goes on between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Everything will be 70% off, you guys. I will be sure to post it on Instagram. But yeah, just you guys got to clear out the whole website. 70% off. Like, I think a hat is like $7. Um, the t-shirts are like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Like it is just wild. But that is the sad news. I had no idea it was coming. Um, but good news for you guys, right? You get to save a lot of money and clear out the merch. But this is the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another chapter. I, I don't know when our, bis our Carlos and I's small business will start. I hope by the end of this year, by my birthday. But... Um, I hope that you guys are patient with us because we have no idea what we're doing. Uh, obviously, I've started a business of my own, which is YouTube. So I always tell myself if I can do YouTube without any experience, without any help, any knowledge, then I can start a business and grow it into something more. So I'm really excited. Carlos and I will be shipping everything. We've been talking to so many uh, manufacturers from all over the world, um, testing samples and you know, going on from there, but it's just so intimidating. I've never, you know, me trying to figure out Shopify is like my mom trying to figure out Facebook. Like, so I just feel like when you start something new, it's always so scary, right? And I think that's why a lot of the times we don't chase after our dreams or do something that we want to do because fear holds us back. And that sounds cringy. I sound like I'm preaching right now, but it's true. Um, I feel like a lot of the times, I mean, if we take a moment now to reevaluate ourselves, there are a lot of things that I don't do because I have fear and fear is the only thing that keeps me from it. If I look at the problem, no one's stopping me. I have all the resources. I can do whatever I set my mind to. It's fear. And I think that's why I pushed this thing off for so long. Carlos and I actually wanted to start this small business all the way back in 2019 and it's 2022 and we now just have the balls to start it. So if you guys have something that you want to do, whether it's YouTube, whether it's um, starting your own business, I don't know what it may be, but just do it, you guys. And we can be on the same boat together. I'm really excited because I will vlog the process and you guys will obviously see me succeed or fail. Who knows? In six months, I can be like, you guys, the small business was not for me. I quit. Or in six months, I could be moving to a warehouse and it could be absolutely everything that I always dreamed of. I still need to recover from another lover Would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks your little heart in my head? Just find out Pretty 
Riley wants to go potty, so we are going outside. You guys don't mind the mess outside, honestly. Koopy! Koopy, do you want to go potty? Oh my gosh, it's so messy. We haven't cleaned up from the birthday party, as you guys can tell. And if you guys haven't... Oh, he's coming. Hi, sweetie. Um, he's getting so fluffy, you guys. Every time his hair grows out really, um, like, really long. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Anytime his hair grows out really long, everyone always says that he's overweight, but he's not. Our vet says that he's fine. He actually lost some weight. Um, he lost like five pounds. Um, so now he's at a really good weight. But anywho, oh, there he is peeing. We moved the seating area out here. Oh, sorry, my dog is pooping. It used to be right here, and then I thought it would be cute if we move it out here because I love sitting out here and like hanging out, especially right now because the weather is so nice. It's not 115 degrees yet. Where we live, it gets so freaking hot, but during this time, like right before, I would say like right before end of June, July, it feels so nice. Like there's a nice breeze and I just want to sit here and hang out with the boys. We're going to move that to the gym area in the garage. We need to do that this month. Um, but yeah, I love this um, outdoor seating area. We bought this when we first moved into the house. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's from Amazon. But you can like, um, you can move the pieces around to make it like into different shapes. So now I have it like the long way, but you can make it into like a little U shape. It's really cute. I'll link it for you down below. And it's held up pretty well as well. Um, so for the California room, I'm thinking about moving the table to the middle. So I'm going to rotate that rug around. and then make more. You guys are so rude. Honestly. Honestly, so rude. Um, I'm going to move the table horizontally, like in the middle, like under the fan. So we can like sit there. Again. Oh my gosh. Bye, Riley. Have a good day. He's like, um, I'm coming in. Koopy. Koopy doop. I'm actually heading to the post office right now, so you guys come on in. We're going to go on our little walk. Oh, man. Um, we always go on our little walk around it's like 7 o'clock, 7.30 um, when the sun is like almost down because it's nice and cool outside. Old man has a, old man is Rocky. Rocky has like a heart murmur. Um, he has a stage two heart murmur, so he can't be walking in the heat. Okay, bye guys. See you later. Come on, inside. Koopy. Koopy doop. Koopy. Do you guys have a dog that doesn't listen to you? Because that's Cooper. Bye, Cooper. Have a good day. That's what I thought. <laughs> Come on, baby. Cooper. Rocky. Rocky, hey. Rocky. Rocky, do yo call? Do yo? Okay. When mommy comes back, we go for our walk. So I have to go to the post office before they close. Oh my gosh, the sun is so pretty. I went to the post office. And now I'm gonna back out. Oh, you guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't had Starbucks in like maybe four weeks. I've been really craving a matcha, so I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh, I know a lot of you are like, Kim, girl, you need to buy matcha and do it at home. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what to buy. So if you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. Where should I buy matcha? Because if you ask me where to buy matcha, I might just go on Amazon and search matcha and then just buy whatever is Amazon's bestseller. Um, but yeah, I, I do wanna start making matcha at home because what I get is so simple. I honestly just do a matcha green tea with soy milk, extra ice. Like it's so, okay, I have to put you guys away because I'm gonna make this turn and I don't think that you'll be able to make this turn with me. Oh my gosh, they almost missed the Starbucks turn. Um, so are you gonna go? Oh, okay. Yes, yes sir, I have a camera in my car. Yes, I'm not doing bad things. Um, I actually don't like this plaza because it's too small. And the parking lot for this plaza is literally, oh my God, did I make it? Jeez, jeez Louises. You guys, this parking lot is literally like the size of my freaking nipples. And I have small nipples, um, but they decided to put like six shops here. So everyone at a nail salon, literally a nail salon. 
so we literally all fight over parking. Also, are you guys proud of me? We rocked the arms. I decided to wear my arms outside today. <laughs> I do need to shave my armpits though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm just so used to like, during the winter, I don't shave. I'm not even kidding, like once, once November 1st hits, and I know like the guys aren't supposed to shave or whatever, I take my no shaving very seriously. So once November hits, I don't shave and then I don't start shaving again until probably like May. So we're in May right now when I'm starting to wear like shorts and dresses and skirts and stuff, so. Oh, please have matcha. Sometimes they're out. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What can I get started for today? Um, can I have a uh, grande matcha tea latte? Grande matcha, yeah, hot or ice? Uh, with ice, please. Okay. Um, extra ice. Okay. Um, can I have it in a venti cup? Yes. And then, can you add soy milk? In a venti cup with soy milk, yeah. Yes, and that's it. And what was that extra extra ice? Yes. Okay, I got gotcha. you. That's it, one thank you. Perfect, thank you. Dang, that's expensive. Five five dollars, five sixty. Let's see if I have any points. If you guys go to Starbucks and don't have the Starbucks app, you're missing out. You can rack up points. Yes, I have $9 in my account. Um, I forgot what I was trying to say to you guys. No, I don't remember. Nope. Shaving, oh shaving, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go home today. Today's also hair wash day. As you guys can tell, my hair is pretty flat. So I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna shave my legs. Um, yeah. Oh, let me send my nephew a memo. Oh my gosh, do you guys use, like, when you're texting someone? Here, I'll just show, like, Veronica's text. Do you, like, use that voice memo thing? I freaking love using that thing. I'll just, like, press it and then, like, talk into it. Or I use the microphone. If I'm, like, talking shit or I'm, like, talking about chisme, I use that microphone. And I just go ham and it types everything for you. This girl thinks I'm crazy for vlogging myself, so I'm gonna close my window. Oh my god. I've been doing YouTube for seven years and I still get so fucking shy. I can't. Okay. Hang on. Um Hi babe. Uh let me know if you have Zell and let me know what your Zell username no, not username, Zell um email or phone number is because I don't think I'm going down to Orange County this month to give grandma her monthly allowance money. So if you could just kindly give me your Zell, I can Zell you and then you can go to the bank and whenever you're free and take the money out cash for grandma. Thank you so much, love you, bye. I can't believe my nieces and nephews have been in America for 1920. Oh my god, this October, this September will be three years that they've been in the US. That's so fucking crazy. Gnarly, man. Okay. I really need my matcha. Um, we are also going to Stater Brothers because Carlos. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. Carlos is posting again on his YouTube channel, so I'll link it down below. Make sure you guys go check out Carlos' YouTube channel. You can get so many videos from us every single week because I have my mukbang channel, I have my vlog channel, and now Carlos wants to upload again on his channel. He was doing so well when he started in 2019, and then he just got to a point where he wasn't sure where his channel was going, like what direction he wanted to go. Um, and then he started helping me full time with my channel. You know, as you guys know, he edits the vlogs. He's not gonna edit this one, um, just because today is his day off. But yeah, I will link his channel down below for you guys. Make sure you go subscribe to my husband's channel. Um, he definitely shows more of his personality over there. I feel like on the vlogs, he like has a stick all the way up his ass inside his esophagus, esophagus and I have to like pull it out. But. Yeah, check out Carlos' channel. But I'm actually gonna go to Stater Brothers because we're doing like a little mystery challenge. So I need to grab some sodas because we're trying to figure out if you, okay, let me know in the comments. If you are blindfolded and someone gave you like four different sodas, would you be able to tell which soda is from which brand? Like I'm gonna have Coke, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Pepsi, and Diet Pepsi, and I'm gonna blindfold him and he's gonna blindfold me and we're gonna sip out of the soda and see if we can, 
uh, figure out what the brand is. So I think I'm gonna grab some sodas. While I'm there, I'm gonna grab some coffee because we ran out of coffee. Um, we've been doing this thing. We just started like maybe two days ago, so I'm, I'm fairly new to it. I used to do it in college, but I stopped and college was like four or five years ago for me. Um, we're doing this thing called intermittent fasting, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it is. Um, basically, you have like an eight hour an eight hour window that you eat and then you fast for 16 hours. So we eat between the hours of 12 and six. Um, so I don't think that's eight hours, that's six hours. But we eat between, between the hours of 12 and six and then after six o'clock we don't eat again until 12 the very next day. And I feel like it's been making me feel really good. Like I, I mean if I incorporated working out into it, I think I could actually lose some weight you guys. Oh my gosh, my coffee is here, goodbye. We'll see you in a little bit, okay? Not my coffee, my matcha. I got my matcha. Oh my God. It's so like creamy. Goodbye, love you. I had no plans of going to Target, but um, I actually have to pick up some stuff that I ordered um, at the counter. I didn't order anything too crazy. I just got three little like foldable TV tables for my filming room because the desk is not big enough and sometimes we have like too much stuff to put on the desk to film. Um, and, oh, I think that's it, you guys. My drink is really good. Fun fact, though, I actually not have, I don't know that, I actually have not been inside a Target. I can't tell you the last time I was inside a Target, actually. I think I went to return something, but I'm hoping that I can leave this Target without buying anything. Maybe, like, allowing, okay. Maybe allow me like one or two things, okay? One or two things. Make sure I have my wallet. I need to clean my car. I need to call my mom real quick. Actually, let me call my mom real quick. Turn off my car. Hi, mommy. Ừ. Um, tháng này con xuống nên con sẽ gửi Tommy tiền không mà nó đi nhà băng nó lấy cho mẹ nha Ok, okay vậy thôi ừ, okay, ok, bye mommy bye. Um, Con có thơ không? Thơ thì có Tommy nó, nó chụp hình mấy cái thơ cũ cho con rồi, có thơ mới không? À, để mẹ hỏi Tommy, mẹ lấy vô chứ mẹ không có lấy Ok, nếu mà có thơ mới Hỏi cho mi có gì thì kêu nó gửi cho con nha Ok, ok, bye mommy Ok, bye Alright, let's head in I actually should have bought a, brought a coat Because it's, um It's kind of chilly Oh, do I have one? I don't have one I should have brought a little zip up Because it's, it's like Literally almost 7, it's kind of chilly Oh, I need to hurry home I need to walk the dogs I'm in the dollar section or five dollar section and they have so many cute things for summer they have this little like basket thing how cute is this i feel like if you're vietnamese you know what i'm talking about we used to pretend that we're going to the market with our moms and carry these but they have these cute little baskets for like five dollars it comes in this orange shade um in like a teal shade and then you can get like little beach toys like these this whole pack is like three dollars how cute Everything's like $3, like this whole thing is $3. Look how big this like woven tray is. It's huge, you guys. I think it's bigger than like a large pizza. I don't know how much it is because I cannot find the tag. I think someone ripped it off, but this would be so cute on top of like a patio table outdoors with like a vase of flowers and like some cups and stuff, a little lemonade pitcher. That's so cute. It'd be cute on a coffee table too if you have one big enough. Um, I think they just came out with like their spring collection, but I don't see honestly I don't need anything I just wanted to see if there was like anything new out. Oh, how cute That bench is adorable. I Love studio McGee. I love Target. I love studio McGee like I'm literally obsessed. How cute is this bench? How much is it though? Oh Man, it's all dirty. I love this little like detail on the ends here. This would be really cute. Oh my gosh. That'd be really cute in our bedroom, actually. We're still remodeling our bedroom, honestly. It's um, going nowhere as of right now, but we're getting places. 
I actually have this in our bathroom. It's so cute. I love, I love this, um, this entryway table. Oh my gosh. A whole marble tray. $40. We love that. These little stool things are so cute for the bathroom. I don't see anything new, to be honest. I don't know if, like, I'm just going crazy here. I don't see anything. My mom has this plant. I got it from her for her. Okay, let's go over. Let's go the back way. Let's go over here. Oh, that bowl is cute. Let's see, let's see. Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I always see people put these um, like ottomans in their living room and I so badly want to do that, but I don't have room. <laughs> and we already have like a long couch. So this is like the magnolia section. But I also don't think Magnolia has anything new for spring. These are really pretty. But they look very fake up close. Yeah, nothing new, you guys. You know this line from Target where like everything's like $2 or like literally 75 cents? Oh my gosh. Whoa, the plates are going for 50 cents right now? These are amazing. We have them in this like beige color right here. We have it in this. I love this color. Oh my gosh. It's so light and it's really good material. But anywho, they came out with forks and spoons. I didn't know that. How freaking cool. I have that clear container down there. It's amazing. Oh my gosh, how cute. If they had this in cream, I would buy it. Blue doesn't match anything in our kitchen. They also have cups for like $3. These are like good for kids, good for like 28 year old men that you're married to so they don't ruin your crate and barrel plates you know <clears throat> oh my gosh but that blue is so pretty these are so cute I'm buying them for Casper they have new toys out I love this brand bark these are my favorite pajamas I literally have this at home and I've worn it for like a week you guys so I'm gonna get more they're so comfortable if you see them at your local Target please buy them they're like the most comfortable thing you will ever wear they have it in black gray blue and pink oh my gosh they feel so good they also have the same material in like a bunch of different designs even like this robe hello you guys it's been a few hours later and I wanted to do a little haul for you guys I got a few things from H&M and I wanted to share because I know a lot of you guys are homebodies and you love lounging around in crewnecks like I do. So I got all of these crewnecks from H&M and I wanted to show it um, in case you guys are interested. Oh, this one's not a crewneck. I got this black like crop shirt. I think it's so cute. It would be cute with like a tennis skirt. Try it on. Oh my gosh. The material is really nice. Like imagine this, like paired with like, ooh, I know it's black, so it's like hard for you guys to see, but it has a little collar and you can like lounge around in it. It's cute. I also have this in pink as well and it's really stretchy. I will link these down below for you guys if you're interested. But this material is really good. Let me see what else I got. I got a oversized button down. I would have to say H&M is probably my favorite place to shop. They just have a lot of styles and a lot of their basics are so affordable as well. So I also got this like oversized linen shirt. These are really in right now. I feel like everybody's wearing these, but they're just so convenient to like put over a tank top like today I literally could have just put a black or a white one on and put on some like cute little sneakers and like call it a day let me unbutton these and try them on for you guys 
I still want to do the dishes and tidy up. Tomorrow's trash day. We just took all the trash out. So this is a size. Oh, I got a size small because they said it was oversized on the website. So I got a size small. Here, let me brighten it up for you. But you see how cute it is? Like, <clears throat> even this like blue is cute. Oh, wow. If you guys end up getting this, it's definitely oversized. I got a small and it's still pretty big on me. Um, I will say though, the material's kind of like itchy. It's not as soft as I thought. Linen, it's linen. And then, next I got this Yale. You guys know I love university crewnecks. I literally wear crewnecks all the time. Um, in a way, I kind of collect them. I guess you could say that's probably something that I collect. And I got this Yale crew neck. How cute is this? I love the color. I thought it was a little bit more pink though. This is cute to like lounge around in. Oh, what size did I get this in? I got this in an extra large. Let me try it on for you guys. I feel like when you see someone else try things on, you get a better idea of like what will work for you. Oh, it's very thin. It's not like a thick crew neck. It's pretty thin. I got an extra large and I like it. It's not like overwhelming. I feel like sometimes when I go extra large, it like goes past my mid thigh. But this is cute to like lounge around in. I feel like though, this after you wash it a few times might start chipping. Yeah, I have a feeling. Okay, moving on. I am most excited for this one. Like I'm so excited. I saw this on the website and I had to get it. So usually, as you guys know, Disney merchandise, if you go to like Disneyland or Disney World, anywhere that has Disney on it, or like Mickey Mouse or anything like that, it's really expensive. And H&M had this for a very reasonable price. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at, look at this, you guys. I feel like a lot of you are gonna go get this. Isn't this so cute? It says, Mickey, the true original since 1928. But my favorite part is that it's embroidered, so it's gonna last you a really long time. It is so freaking cute. I believe I also got an extra large. I like my crew necks oversized. I don't like when it's like fitted. Ooh, the inside is cotton and it feels good. How cute. How cute, I love it. So cute. And then, I also have another crew neck here. This one was also a must have. I saw it on the website and I thought it was adorable. Ooh, see, these are my type of crew necks. These are way thicker than the last two that I just showed you. This is really good material and the embroidery is nice and thick. This is gonna last for a while. It says uh, UCLA on it. But I thought like the little um, like muted pastel colors were really cute. This one I also got an extra large but I think it's like made differently than the other ones. So this one's gonna be huge on me but that's how I like it. Ooh, you see how this one's just like way bigger? The design is definitely different than the other ones, but how cute are these? Wow. That's actually really nice and thick embroidery. I like. Out of all the crewnecks, I feel like this UCLA one is probably the best. And then I also got a denim jacket. And I got a small because it's oversized. But this is the denim jacket. Oh, thank God I got a small. It's huge. I thought the color was cute. I also don't own a denim. I guess you could call this a denim shirt. It's not really a jacket. Don't think of it as like a thick denim jacket. It's more of like a shacket, like a shirt jacket. And the quality feels really nice and thick. 
It doesn't feel thin at all. I love it. I'm very impressed with this, actually. It almost feels like, um, I would honestly compare it to Levi's. Let's see. Let me unbutton this. I got a small in this because it's oversized. And I'm glad I got a small because it's still pretty big on me. Oh, wow. It's actually really, really big. I love the color. It's not too light, it's not too dark. Looks expensive. I just got this game. I saw it on TikTok. It's called Tapple. And basically there's different categories that you pull out of the card. So like this category is pizza toppings and you have to take turns going around and, and think of different pizza toppings that start with each letter. So like, P would be pepperoni, and you just keep going to see like how like I guess how many you can get. I thought it was really cool. It's like sold out everywhere, you guys. I went on that Mercari or Mercury or whatever website and bought this from someone that was like selling it brand new. I'm so excited. Let's keep the box. So it looks like this. Oh, oh shoot. Did I break it already? Oh no. I hope not. How do you? Guys, I think I broke it. Oh, we're good. So it's this. So like if the if the topping I mean, had the topping. Batteries, right? Really? Yeah. Looks like it. That thing right there? No way. I think it does, doesn't it? Let me see. Do we have batteries? I think so. Oh, never mind. This is the storage thing. Okay, so these are the different cards. Bless you, honey. It does need batteries though because there's this thing right here. Oh, do we have batteries? Uh, two double A batteries. Need a little screwdriver. Okay, so it needs two double A batteries. Don't forget, you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's see how to play. To start a round, to start a round, announce the category and tap the timer button in the center of the tapple wheel. On your turn, you have 10 seconds to name an answer for the category, starting with an available letter on the tapple wheel. Press the first letter of your answer, tap the button to reset the timer, and pass the turn. Letters pressed can no longer be used for the next round, for the round, so the pressure mounts as letters are eliminated. Players are eliminated from the round if any of the following occur. Failure to complete your turn before the 10 second buzzer, so every time you press the middle button, it's 10 seconds. Uh, failure to name an answer that does not match the category and failure and failure to come up with an acceptable answer in time Pre Or you can press a letter for an unacceptable answer. So be careful if you are unsure what an answer is When a player is eliminated the next player in turn taps the timer to continue the round Play until on play until only one player remains collecting the card for that round Continue playing until a player collects three cards and wins. For longer games, play to four or five. Okay, so that's basically how you play. So you have to collect as many cards as possible. How fun. I'm so excited. Um, I'll try to find it for you guys, but like I said, they're sold out everywhere. Um, it was available on Target. It's no longer available on Target. It's out of stock on Target, out of stock on Walmart, out of stock on Amazon. Out of stock everywhere, you guys. I have to go. You might have to like resort to a website like Mer Mercari or whatever. Um, or you just wait for it to come back in stock. Did you, see, did you guys see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you too. Yeah, you too. Hi. Ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yay. Okay, I'll choose again. I, I, I was stretching my hand out. So. You're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Bye.
Ready? Yeah. Did you turn it on? Oh, no. All right, I have to choose So you touch the button first? Yeah, to start to start the timer. And, and then we when... So I touch the button, I get 10 seconds to think of an answer. And then when I get it, you have to hit the button again to restart the 10 seconds. Each but you person... have to but you have to push the letter down that you said, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh shoot, this is hard. Come on, you can't, you gotta like be quick. You're giving okay. yourself an edge. Okay. Come on, man. Oh, wait, I have both sides to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The category is body parts. Okay. Okay. Um, ankles. Uh, head. Um, jaw. Uh, eyes. Butt. Uh, the D word. Um, uh, penis. <laughs> what? Um, uh, intestines. Uh, lungs. I guess those are body. Are, are, are body parts are like yeah. I don't know. Um, teeth. Uh, uh, chin. <laughs> Um, gallbladder. Uh, 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 waist. Uh, uh, rectum. Uh, knee. Um, mouth. Nose. Wait, what happens? You, you, you gotta go, you gotta go. What well, was an S word that you could have said, Sterno? Well, I was going to say like occipital. Oh, I don't know. Okay. And okay, so then you turn it. There we go. Nice. We need something where it doesn't move. It doesn't move. Oh, it was moving kind of, no? No, it no, 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 Just let the timer out. Okay. Oh, right, your so turn. Your, yeah, your turn to choose. Jesus, what? That's hard. Your turn to choose, Bubba. Okay. All right, uh, oh, I think this would be a good one. Okay. Okay, song, okay. song titles. Okay. And that's something we both know. Okay, the category is song titles. Yeah. So, okay. So then I start it and I go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Press and start, okay. right. cheater. No, oh, you're I'm cheating. cheating. <laughs> Call me maybe. Oops, I did it again. Oh, no, I'm, I'm Okay, uh, 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 oh shit! Hit him up by Tupac. Dancing Queen. Oh shit, um, um, Shake Your Tail Feather. Glamorous. Oh shit, uh, Ether by Nas. First Class. Um, Shit, uh, damn. Oh, uh, I won! That one was hard. I couldn't think of any. I'm pretty This, this is it, thank you. There are so many different ones, and I couldn't think of any.